Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Gyro, I'm your host here, and today we're talking about an unfinished build, it's an unfinished build before you start looking at those numbers on the screen and criticizing me, and, uh, but it is a very accessible and cool build that I had in mind for a very long time and was always contemplating to start a league with it, but it just didn't happen that way. It was intended to be a Caustic Arrow Deadeye. And why? Because Caustic Arrow is the first uh, skill among the first skills that you get as a bow-based ranger in Path of Exile when you start a new game. So what is better than starting a ga game with a certain skill and continuing throughout the whole game 90% of the time relying on that skill? That is kind of the fantasy that I'm try trying to fulfill here. And I'm a big fan of Caustic Arrow. We will talk a little bit about this further in this video, uh, but this build that I sort of plotted for myself a little bit here on a napkin, so to speak, using Path of Building tool on PC, has transformed. It has transformed into an ice shot experiment build, which we, you can once again focus here. It's an unfinished build, however, at the same level, it is showing us a very, very different projection, at the very least, of DPS, even without optimizing any gear. So, with those other tabs that Path of Building offers you, offers you here, I have not, by the way, looked particularly closely at the items yet, so the numbers would be skewed massively. But, if you paid attention to the previous screen when we were looking at Caustic Arrow, this Ice Shot one, tells us at the very least that it's much easier to scale the damage up even without yet optimizing the build massively. We are not going to focus too much on the build that I transitioned from. I already kind of gave a nod towards the Caustic Arrow. We will start this build with Caustic Arrow and we will start building this uh, Ranger, Deadeye, as uh, your typical build where we are investing into boosting our projectile damage skills and moving towards the right hand side. We want to come somewhere closer to Master Fletcher and somewhere closer to King of the Hill once we start scaling up the critical chance damage. But that probably is going to have to wait. I never usually scale critical, style, uh, critical uh, strike chance as a priority item. I usually go for the raw kind of damage, increasing attack speed, increasing projectile speed, and direct damage with bow and elemental skills first. That is what I typically do, and then I start scaling normally something like um, critical strike chance, which to me is a secondary method of scaling, but it certainly is there, as you can see. Caustic Arrow probably carries you very, very nicely to about level 30, let's say to about level 30, before you start feeling that your damage becomes harder to scale. It genuinely is harder to scale, even when you're playing with Path of Building, even when you're kind of doing this math on a napkin. Usually, the, in my at least limited experience, of course, because I'm not investing thousands of hours into this game, even though I've been playing for years Path of Exile, uh, in my opinion, scaling Chaos damage comes... Uh, you know, at a higher cost of investment of um, uh, points into the skill tree, as well as investing often into cluster jewels. Once you invest into cluster jewels and you're very lucky with investing also currency, buying good cluster jewels, buying the right type of uh, gear, that's when Chaos Damage becomes quite competitive and that's when Caustic Arrow probably would keep up in terms of the damage with something like Ice Shot. When we talk about Ice Shot, however, why why Ice Shot? Well, first of all, it's a cold damage skill, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at the skill itself. So, in this particular case, um, Ice Shot fires an arrow, it converts some of the physical damage to cold on its target and converts all physical damage to cold in a cone that is behind that target. So it kind of creates these splashes, as you can see on the screen, that damage stuff in that cone behind, uh, behind, the, behind the hit, where the original hit was. It also chills the enemies as though dealing uh, almost 200% more damage, which is also not too bad. I am not claiming that this is the optimal uh, setup of the gems, by the way, while you're looking at this here. Again, I welcome your comments in, uh, and suggestions in the comment section below the video. But in this particular case, I'm simply working here with the basic concept, even figuring out for myself what is the best way to take this build from about mid-game towards the end game, which is why this is a build in progress. I am relying, obviously, on the base skill Ice Shot. I am relying on Volley because I like Volley that it creates a bit of a volume to the shot, yet it doesn't decrease projectile damage too much, which is great, right? Added Cold Damage is fantastic as well. 
bone chill effect is what I'm playing with here because it uh, increases the effect of chill on the enemies evidently and uh, we also increase the cold damage taken by the enemies that are chilled yeah as well as having a flat increase to the cold damage by 14% at level 20. Cold penetration here. I'm kind of just playing here a little bit with this math over here uh, without being an expert of path of building tool. Um, I am playing with this here because towards the end game, maybe mid game, it doesn't matter, but towards end game, the cold resistance of the enemies and elemental resistance of the enemies is going to become a bit of a problem. So in this particular case, we are increasing first of all flat increase of the cold damage that the skill does that's a good thing plus 10 percent and we're also penetrating almost one third or well one third in this ideal scenario of level 20 gem of cold resistance of the enemies and then we are also doing a little nod here towards increasing critical strike chance because at some point we will run out of that flat boost to cold damage flat boost to bow damage flat boost to attack damage and we will need to do something to scale it further how well critical strikes are one of those ways to do that my logic here is to boost the health of our character wherever we can the life obviously we want more life naturally we want more bow attack power we want to increase the damage with bows we want to increase also the possibility to suppress spell damage wherever we can and increase our evasion so we are definitely going for evasion mastery we are going to be running and currently i'm running on the screen determination aura for boosted armor we are running defiance banner to boost both evasion and armor and we're running grace which is the which is the our evasion bread and butter evasion kind of thing here i am also looking at increasing the uh, damage with elemental attack skills naturally and uh, once we have kind of um, taken the main clusters of nodes here as well as our um, charisma node and the reservation mastery that will allow us to fit in all of these numerous auras we're going to to go down here towards the skill tree uh, nodes here taking primeval force which increases the elemental damage with attack skills further taking also i've taken the essence sap i believe at the moment in the real game not in pub in the pob because i am struggling with mana i need leech of mana as quickly as i can leech back of mana otherwise i'm having real issues with mana but running praxis ring and running this node actually saves me from too much trouble we are also going down over here to take point blank a very popular node for close target range of projectiles to make sure that they hit much harder the enemies that are closer to us because i'm not really a sniper in this build i don't i don't snipe enemies from far and culling strike mark mastery that will give the that will give our uh, culling strike um if uh, that that will give the marked enemies culling strike effect i am also aiming to take haven't taken it yet at my at my current level i'm aiming to take onslaught effect and currently projecting and going to only experiment with the far stretch this way far stretch this way the build is not finished but this way i will be able to take golem's blood i will be able to t increase the evasion and armor further as well as boosting my currently lacking elemental resistances with cloth, cloth and chain and i will t go all the way to uh, further increased reservation mastery of the skills to make sure that i can do a little more have a bit more breathing room with all the auras i'm running so this is at least the intent of this build clearly unfinished i said it numerous times but that's what i want to do with it as far as the ascendancy is concerned it's a, it is going to be a dead eye first uh first skill that i took was gathering winds because the gaining this gale force effect after you use a skill and increasing all your actions results in massive boost to your speed you run around like a crazy person as well as um you know you attack faster which is fantastic as well um i'm i'm still playing kind of with this layout but i'm thinking about increasing the effect of my marks which is obviously going to be the sniper's mark in my case and i'm going to go for ricochet where my ice shot would be should be at least able to be uh, ricocheting or over the terrain as well as uh, skills firing two additional projectiles for free that would be my 
probably last pick, but that's that's where I'm going with this. For the bandits, I killed both bandits and I took two passive skill points. For Pantheon, I'm going to stick with Soul of Solaris and probably going to pick my uh, favorite Soul of Ralakesh to reduce the effects of damage over time, but it is it remains to be seen because at the moment I'm not suffering from this choice too much. And, um, you know, the I'm only around level 45, 46 right now, so a long way to go. And this is it. This is kind of to give you an idea, my friends, that I have this build in progress. Of course, I'm still playing Path of Exile. I'm not just playing Diablo Immortal. That is to reassure my crowd of Path of Exile players. If you like this intention to build, starting the build with Caustic Arrow and ending up with an Ice Shot, build where we will scale uh, elemental damage much easier than we can scale chaos damage please give it the video a like uh, express your opinion about this build in the comments down below maybe you tried something similar has something worked really well for you has something not worked really well for you i welcome your opinions as always as long as we remain informative and mutually respectful thanks again for tuning in today hopefully you're excited about the future of this build and i'll be speaking again to you about something else part of exile or maybe diablo immortal related very soon Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.